as you are done with the concept of finding the year which particular year is a leap year or not in the previous video we just saw that 100 is not a leap year 200 is not a leap year 1900 is not a leap year so as you are familiar with that concept in case you are not familiar you can see the link right now which is visible on your screens or always you can find the link in the description below now i assume that you know that which particular year is a leap year or not you are ready to move for this video in which i'm going to discuss about the old days what basically are the old days or and how to find the number of old days in a particular time span so starting with the old days what are old days if you don't know old days are basically the days which are left out after formation of weeks what I mean to say is, let me take an example. Suppose I'm asked to find the number of odd days from a given month, and the month has say 31 days in it. So I'm given that 31 days are there in a month, and I'm asked to find the number of odd days. So I'll see that how many maximum weeks can be formed out of these 31 days. So we can see that seven days make one week. So 28 days would approximately make 4 weeks approximately specifically make 4 weeks so the remaining days left are 29th day, 30th day and 31st day that is 3 days are left so these 3 days are the odd days that's it now if I'm, if I'm asked to find the odd days from a given month and that month has 30 days in it so I'll see that 30 days so 28 days make 4 weeks so remaining 2 days are left so 29th day and the 30th day are the odd days so 2 days are there in these 2 odd days are there in this month which has 30 days in it now as you know how to find the number of odd days let me discuss uh, on a larger scale um, now if I am asked to find the odd days in a given year so 1 year 1 year has 365 days uh, wait a minute if the year is a non leap year then it has 365 days else it has if it is a leap year it has 366 days although this is not the concept scientific concept though although year each year has 365 1 by 4 days but in mathematics we just take it that a non leap year non leap year has 365 days in it and a leap year has 365 366 days so now if I'm asked to find the number of odd days in a in a non leap year so that simply means it has 365 days in it now how would I find the number of odd days in these 365 days we would just see how many maximum weeks can be formed out of it so if we want to see 365 days we'll just divide it by the number 7 we'll see how many weeks can be formed out of it uh, fifth two weeks and plus one day is left so this one day remaining is the odd day so that simply means a year a non leap year in fact is has one odd day in it similarly if I want to see for a non leap for a leap year instead which has 366 days so we'll just check out dividing it by 7 gives me 52 weeks plus two odd days so that simply means that there are two odd days in a leap year and a leap year now further if I'm asked to find the number of all days in hundred years in first hundred years how will I calculate let's see before getting out the maximum weeks out of these hundred years the first priority of ours is to find the number of leap years and the remaining non leap years in these hundred years what I mean is uh, how to find now how to find how many are the leap years in these 100 years I will just divide it by the number 4 uh, it gives me 25 leap years so the remaining would be 75 as non leap years uh, wait a minute I made a mistake here if you had watched my video I said that the year which ends with 100 uh, the century year has an exception in it so what was the exception that the exception was for the year which is a century we check it dividing it by the number 400 so in this case the hundredth year hundredth year that means the hundredth year is a non-leap year because if I divide it by the number 
400 gives me a remainder which is not equal to 0 that simply means that 100th year is a non leap year so I'll conclude that there are 25 minus 1 leap years in these 100 years and the remaining 75 plus 1 would be added here so 76 non leap years in these 100 years so now you know that there are 24 leap years and 76 non leap years you are ready to find how uh, the total number of odd days out of it as we saw that for the years which were non leap years which were non leap years they had one odd day in it and for the years which were leap years they had two days in it so which means that in these 76 non leap years we have 76 odd days plus in these 24 leap years we have 24 cross 2 that is 48 odd days in it now further checking out the number of odd days in these 76 and 48 years respectively I divided by 7 gives me the remainder 6 and divided by 7 again gives me the remainder 6 again so that simply means there are 12 odd days in these 100 years further dividing it by the number 7 gives me 7 the 5 as remainder so that simply means there are 5 odd days 5 odd days in these 100 years in 100 years now let's sim uh, similarly check it for the if I want to find out the odd days in 200 years uh, let me see how we'll find out for 200 years we'll see in this case first again we'll find out the number of leap years and the non leap years dividing it by 4 gives me 50 leap years but again as the 100th and the 200th year are not leap years so I'll subtract 2 from it gives me 48 so 48 are the number of leap years in these 200 years so remaining 152 would be the non leap years in these 200 years so now for 152 non leap years i have 152 as or days for 48 leap years i have 48 cross 2 that is 96 as or days now further I am going to check the number of odd days in these odd days that simply means dividing by 7 gives me remainder oh, 2 sorry 5 as remainder and for these leap years dividing by 7 gives me the remainder the remainder as 5 again so that simply means we have 5 plus 5 that's equal to 10 again dividing by 7 gives me remainder 3 so that simply means we have 3 or days in 200 years in 200 years similarly if I am going to check for the 300 years for 300 years the result would come out to be 1 or day or day for 400 years the result would come out to be 0 or day again after that the pattern repeats itself repeats itself repeats itself what i mean is for every multiple of 400 the odd days would be zero that's for if i'm gonna if i'm asked to find the number of odd days in 800 years that would again give me zero odd days for 1200 years again or zero odd days so on so on now you can memorize this result that for 100 years we have five odd days for 200 years we have three odd days for 300 years we have one or day for 400 years we have none that is zero or days so this result would be helpful for our next video in which i'm going to discuss about finding the exact day out of a given date what i mean is if i'm asked to find the day of the year of the date if the date was 3 jan 1976 so that's it and similarly for any dates if i'm gonna if i'm asked to find the day how to find it so we'll cover out this uh, this thing in the next video so you have to remember this or if you don't mean uh, don't want to remember this pattern this result you can just memorize this concept and again you can find the number of odd days out of it so that's it for this video hope you like the video do subscribe to our channel team must as there are a lot more videos coming on till then be must and keep rocking i'll see you in the next video soon bye bye